All right, y'all, as you can tell by the title of this vlog, we are doing a little bit of organizing and cleaning. Um, I want no judgment when I go into this room and show you what's happening, okay? I'm just putting that out there right now. No judgment, please. I have not been home in... <laughs> oh my God. Wow, it's so bad. I'm looking at it right now, it's so bad. I'm literally bringing more shit up here too. This beauty room, first of all, it's not very big. I like how I call it my beauty room. Um, it's not very big. This is where I film and do my makeup and everything and it's basically just become a dumping ground because I haven't been able to organize or get my shit together. We're gonna do it. We're getting our shit together. This is tragic because I need to start filming again and this I just this space gives me anxiety. I don't even come in here. I just shut the door because I can't process what's happening. Um, but I need to get it cleaned up so that way I can be clear-headed and I have a ton of stuff to get rid of, a ton of stuff to give away. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and just show you the disaster. <laughs> Again, do not judge me. What the? <laughs> oh my God. I have, like, this is my makeup kit. I have laundry that needs to get put away. I have giveaway stuff. I have trash in here. Like, this is just... Oh my god, who does this? I'm so disgusted with myself right now. Like, who truly does this? Who does this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look, oh, this is tragic. We need to, this, this is, this is, I'm so embarrassed. We're getting this cleaned up ASAP. Like, I can't even walk in here. I'm so ashamed of like, ugh. I just, I don't know why I do this. So I'm clearing myself a little path right now. And I'm just gonna plop down somewhere and try and get my life organized. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna start a trash bag because we know that's important. Like I have stuff in here that I totally forgot that I freaking bought. Like, why do I do these things? Like truly, why am I the way that I am? All right, this shit can go over here. So my goal is to get organized first and then we'll go through and purge and throw things away as, as needed. Like, this is a new, the Professional Super Setter. This is a brand new thing that I wanted to test out that I haven't yet. So we're gonna just put all the new makeup in this bin this is all my new stuff that i need to try out okay yeah let's do that all new makeup is going in this tupperware here like i have so many products to try you guys this is this is this is banana land like this is all new makeup that i have yet to try out dude and i just i just keep buying more like i'm such i think i might be a hoarder like a little bit. I think like I'm a pack rat. This is bad. Um, okay. So what is this? Giveaway. I already have one of these face filter blurring and moisturizing primer. Oh, I do love it though, but I just bought one of these, the Tula primer. So we'll give that away. Um, what is this? Julep shadow stick i'll try that out wait no i carry these in my kit i like these okay so we can open this and put that away so basically like i said i'm just trying to yeah i have these in my kit i love these these are so good um trying to get my life organized so that is trash um what is this venice fling this is an eyeshadow collection. Also, I turned off my BoxyCharm and Ipsy because it's just, it's so overwhelming the amount of products I'm getting. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. That's so pretty. Should I keep that? I don't really need it, but I like it. I think I can give that away. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm gonna think about it. I'll put it in my new makeup pile and then I'll go through my new products pile and get rid of shit from there. Um. What is this? Oh, I got an airbrush for my kit. I'm so excited. I got the Temp2 Air. And so I am 
yeah, this is what it looks like. It's the new cordless airbrush system for my freelance kit. Um, so I'm going to be offering airbrush makeup very soon. Um, I'm just, I need to, like I said, it's still in the box. It's brand new. I haven't even played with it yet. So this is all the airbrush stuff. I have the foundations and everything in there, the cleaning system. So that can all stay together for now. Okay. What is this? Pumpkin Turmeric Radiance Polishing Mask. I will give that away. I have more skincare than I know what to do with right now. Um, what is this stuff? Detangling Texture Moisture Spray. Okay, that's a travel. What is this? Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum. Ooh, that sounds nice from Farsali. Haven't tried that yet. That's skincare, not makeup. What is this? NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is not a new product. I love these for like a smoky eye. Like look how gorge, 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 gorge. This is in the shade dark. Um, so I will keep that, throw away the packaging. All right, right now I'm going through my last drawer, um, trying to figure out what I want to keep um so here these are all my magnetic lashes um this is trash um and then these are all my regular lashes um these are my new favorites lately these lash extensions ones they're so natural and pretty i'm obsessed as you can tell because i have a million pair um unicorn cosmetics are still some of my favorite lashes i have a ton of those um these i've used once so they're fine. I don't love them though. Um, doll love too. They're very similar to the unicorn lashes and are kind of a similar price point. Um, I have some individuals here. I have a ton of Lily lashes, still some of my favorites. Um, I have some Huda beauty in here as well. Um, more unicorn. Um, and then I have some icon who I used to work with. So these are like old, old, but they are really nice lashes still. And these are brand new. Um, so I'm going to keep them, but I used to work with this brand. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have in here. I have, oh, these are magnetic lashes too. So I'll put those right here. These I'm thinking because I have two pair of these. One is already open and used. These are brand new. I think I'm going to give these away. Put that in the giveaway box. Um, these I don't like. I'm going to trash those. And then these, this is not the pair that goes in this box. I don't know what the hell those are, but they're banana land. I'm never going to wear those. Um, so this is kind of my trash pile here. Not this stuff under here. I'm just, like I said, I'm making a huge mess. Um, but we have some more faux mink. I will keep those. Um, some more. This is just a different style of the lash extensions ones. These are so pretty with no eyeshadow for like a very light makeup day. Obsessed with these. If you want the look of lash extensions but don't want to pay for lash extensions, these are amazing. They're so similar. These Morphe lashes were garbage. I don't know why I still have those. Another pair of icons. What style is this? Is this, oh, Drunken Love. I love these. They're so fluffy. These are a great dupe for the um, Lily Lashes Mykonos. They're a very similar style. I've worn these once, but they're still in really great shape. So I'll keep those. These I love for like a fox eye look, the 814s. Super, super pretty with a shadow wing. Keeping those. What are these? Miamis. I never got into Lily Lashes for the Miamis. Like, they just look so crazy. I don't think I'm going to wear those, so I'll toss those. Um, I don't know what the heck is happening with these. Have I worn these? No, these are brand new. Um, maybe I'll toss those in my kit for a dramatic, like a photo shoot or something. Um, these I've worn once. They're really pretty, though, the silk. I always try. I know it looks gross, but I always try and put lashes back in their case so that way I know what I'm looking at. Like these, I did not like, but I've worn those. So it's very easy for me to, oh, these velour lashes, silk lashes. What are these? Fluff and dolled up. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep those for like Halloween or something. Um, so yeah, I'm just basically, I have more individuals. Um, just kind of going through all of this stuff. As you can see, I used to love Lily Lashes, but I've kind of moved on to some more affordable faux mink options.
All right, so these ones, I actually ended up peeling off the sticker that was on the packaging and just taking these out to save a ton of space. So that's helpful and I will just get them nicely lined up now. Oh my God, you guys, look how beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So moral of the story, I do not need to buy any more lashes, but look how freaking bomb this drawer looks. It makes me so happy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all, we are making a little bit of progress. At least I can see the floor now. I got my kit moved all over there. That's trash. Um, I'm working. That's this is all trash. This is all new products giveaway. Just need to finish clearing off this. Look at all this giveaway stuff I have. I literally have one, two, three, four boxes here plus all that stuff over there. So we're going to have to do some serious giveaways. Um, and then I just need to organize all of this stuff. This is like my um, kit stuff. So that might be... A separate video I really want to just focus on like my room itself we're making serious progress I'm very excited that just needs to go in my bathroom so now the fun part begins of like purging and actually getting rid of some stuff um but so this is where we kind of are now you can actually come in here huh now you can actually come in yes I need you to stay away from that makeup though stay away I don't want doggy hairs on it I'm going to go through all of my drawers of like my personal makeup as you can see it's looking so much better behind me I'm so excited um, so I have one bin here. This is going to be throwaway for like expired, half used, I hate it products. And then I have a, another bin here that I'm going to do for like family friends giveaway. I'll sanitize everything, wipe it down. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Sorry, I'm blurry right now. I don't know how to fix that. Um, so giveaway and throwaway. This is like my concealer primer and bb cream foundation thing drawer so i'm just gonna quickly go through this i'll probably do this like time lapse because we're gonna be here for freaking ever All right, so, so far I have these things to give away to family and friends. Actually, that's trash because that's expired. Um, I loved this primer. It's just expired. These are super old, the Naked Skin and Tarte Shape Tape. I just don't like anymore. These ones are not expired, but I'm just not going to use them. So I put those in the giveaway. And this is a brand new thing literally still sealed so i'm gonna put that in like an actual giveaway all right oh, foundations god freaking bless this is a nightmare here's the foundation drawer the way i have this organized is kind of like my lighter coverage foundations down here then i have more natural full coverage matte full coverage drugstore a little bit more matte full coverage and then some more drugstore back there um so i got rid of the stay naked only use those ones these are for sure expired and the fragrance just makes my face break out i hate these i don't know why i still have them i used to be obsessed but not anymore um these i've only used one time and then i have the smith and colt again only used one time it was fine i'm just not obsessed and i haven't touched it since i did that first impressions so I think I have plenty here. So this is looking good. I'm very, very happy with it. All right, looking so much better. I know it doesn't look like I got rid of a lot, but I promise I did. I got rid of some 
palettes. I got rid of two Ofra highlights. Some Laura Geller. This one, which I really didn't want to part with, but I have two. Um, and this is the darker shade. Um, it's limited edition uh, MAC one. So, so far, so good. And nothing was really expired in that bin, so... That's good. All right, I just did my powders and that's kind of boring. So um, these three are getting tossed because they're very, very old. And then for giveaway, I have the Jeffree Star one, this Smashbox one, and then this Marc Jacobs, just like, I don't even know what this is for. It's just like a translucent powder. Um, so that's all going away. So next up I have blushes and oh my God, I have like just so much of these. Can you see? Like, I just really like blush, I guess. All right, I still need to thin some of these out because this is still a ridiculous amount of a blush. Um, but I did get rid of Lorac, this Anastasia one. Two MAC, a uh, Benefit, an Hourglass mini one. I'm just never going to use that color. This one's just too dark. Don't use this one. This Nude Blush Palette. I mean, it's pretty, but like, I never use it. I have so many blushes. Um, and then this guy is going to just get tossed. Um, and then I also, this little cheek tint is getting tossed. Um, so, so far we're doing very good in the friends and family giveaway pile. So this is my lipstick drawer. I'm not going to show you guys that because I'm just going to quickly organize. Um, this eye drawer is a freaking nightmare. Probably not going to show you guys that. Um, but I will show you the bronzers because this is an excessive amount of bronzers. Like, <laughs> what? Um, and then down here we will go through palettes. All right, now the fun part of eye palettes. Woo! Wow, there's so many. So let's go through these. I need a sip. I'm getting exhausted. Um, Huda Beauty New Nude. Mmm, that'll be a maybe. This one. I'm gonna give this away, the dose of colors. I love Sarah E. Not gonna use that. This one, the Nubian by Juvius. That's a good one. I'll keep that one. Carly Bible. That one's really pretty. I'll keep that. The Warrior by Juvius. Love this guy. Makeup by Mario. Keep for sure. Um, Natasha Denona Peak. That's really pretty, and I don't think I've ever used this. That's really pretty. They're like deserty colors. You guys know I love Natasha Denona. Another makeup by Mario. This is, I bought two of these and then two of the other shiny ones. So I'll keep those. Oh, the Moroccan Spice. Um, I'll give that away. I'm not crazy about that. Um, Natasha Denona, these are my palettes that I have kind of made myself. I've rearranged these. Um, like this is all my blues and greens. Um, so I'm keeping these because these are like my babies. I like to make those when I'm like traveling. Um, so I have a blank fusion. Hmm. This is like a good neutral palette. I'll keep it. Too Faced Naked. I have to keep this because nostalgia. They don't make it anymore. Can't get rid of it. Um, Dior, this is the Backstage Quad in Warm Neutrals. I like this. That's a nice like go-to palette and those are expensive. Il Maquillage. I used, I worked with this brand once. Um, I'm just not gonna wear these colors. So I'll get rid of that. Too Faced Natural Mattes. I have other ones that I like better. Those can go. Joseph Colors Baked Browns. Oh, I love this palette. So pretty. And I've only used it a handful of times. 
um so i will go ahead and keep that um i have anastasia soft glam this one is a brand new one i just replaced my old ugly one keeping that then i have marvelous mauves mm. i might get rid of that i'll think about that one i don't really wear mauves anymore it's just not my thing uh dose of colors <laughs> this one's so broken but i have to keep it because it's limited edition and i love it like the colors in this were i loved this palette so much i used it a lot um so i'm gonna keep that even though it's broken um smashbox full exposure i'm gonna get rid of this it's just like a smoky neutrals um i just i wasn't obsessed with it i got that when i first started makeup so it's been in here for a while. Oh, Urban Decay Born to Run. This was a good one. This has like a nice mix of, this is a good like vacation palette and it's like the packaging is really, really nice and you have a mirror. Um, so I will keep that guy. Desert Dusk Huda Beauty. I think I'll keep this one. Why not, you know? Um, again, these are my Natasha Denona palettes that I made myself. This is my cool toned one. Um, and then this is my warm tone one. And there's a few missing right now because when I was traveling, I took a few with me. Um, they're actually right here. I made myself like a little travel palette. Um, a lot of people don't know, but her shadows are actually magnetic, so you can pop them out. Um, I've mentioned that a few times on my channel, but I don't know. I don't know if it actually made it into a video. So there's a little tidbit for you. This video is going to be so long. Oh my God. Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette. This thing is a beast, but oh, it's so beautiful. This is the Stacey Marie Makeup Artist collab. I've never used this, but I'm keeping that because it's so stunning. Um, Be Perfect Client's Hell Palette um, with Makeup by Jaw. I love this palette. I carry this in my kit. And the quality of these shadows is phenomenal. If you're looking for inexpensive but very high quality shadows, I love Be Perfect. This are all my Anastasia palettes condensed. Um, these are all my Anastasia shadows. I popped into a Z palette. These are in really, really rough shape. I'll keep it though because that's a lot of palettes in there. It's a lot of shadows. Um, okay, Pure Soiree Diaries. I'm gonna get rid of this. I have so many nude palettes. Um, Too Faced Natural Matte. Yeah, I'll keep that one. That one was actually okay. Um, Too Faced Just Peachy Matte. Oh my God, I remember when I bought this. Oh, this is, this is, this is a good palette. I'm obsessed with that still. Um, okay, then we have a Tarlet in Bloom. And then the Tartlet palette. Mm. That's what these look like. These are, these are old. Um, Morphe oh, Artistry palette. What is this? 350? Um, I mean, I'm just not into huge palettes like this anymore, but, so I think I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm just not wild about Morphe lately. Um, <laughs> Beauty Bay, fuck yeah. Literally any nude shade you could ever need is in here, so that's why I'm like, get rid of all your nude palettes. You don't need them. Morphe, Jaclyn Hill. <sighs> I'm never getting rid of this. It's so old, but I'm never getting rid of it. Okay, keeping that. And then I have, oh my god, I totally forgot about this Pat McGrath palette. This was so expensive. This is the Mothership palette. I remember when I bought this too. This was like $130. And then I'm a little bit torn on what to do with these guys, the Jeffree Star. I'm just like not into Jeffree Star lately. I've like, I'm very much over it. Um, this is Blood Sugar so pretty i stopped buying his products though i mean these colors are stunning but this packaging is so impractical and super annoying like an eyeshadow palette really whatever 
All right, guys, look at my giveaway box. I'm doing so good. I'm just gonna go through the new products. That's throw away. I'm not throwing away very much because I actually didn't have as much expired stuff as I thought. Um, so wait, that's actually expired. Um, but yeah, so we're actually in pretty decent shape. All right, liquid lipsticks, all getting thrown away. See ya! Um, I think I might end the video here because I am feeling very good, very organized. I'm very happy with purging my collection. I, I still obviously have a ways to go. I need to deal with that disaster back there. But yeah, I just wanted to declutter my makeup a little bit and just purge for the new year. Get in the right headspace. I've looked at all my new products. I'm feeling very inspired. Um, excited to film and show you guys what I come up with. Um, so yeah, I think, I think this is going to be the end of it because if not, we'll be here for freaking ever. Um, so I'm going to toss all this shit, take the trash out, and then I think I need a break. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye. Come on,